job for the police, an important job, but one of the many that face those men who don a uniform and work at protecting the public. Policemen who leave their wives, who leave their private lives to become the first thought of everyone in trouble. What other career involves so many jobs and calls the men who do them by one name? River policemen, yes, mounted policemen, traffic policemen, but policemen all. And today, Pathé Pick is invited behind the scenes to see the varied things that add up to a policeman's lot. Thames Division, with 36 miles of difficult river to patrol. Such is their vigilance, such is their knowledge of the River Thames, that the gross imaginings of crime writers hardly ever cross their bows. But if smuggling and piracy on the Thames are now reduced to occasional crimes, it's only the patrolling presence of the men of Thames Division that keeps it that way. All drawn from the Metropolitan Force, but mostly men who've served in the Royal or Merchant Navies, the sailor policemen rely on their awareness of the river's daily life. Lightermen are part of that life, and replacing a barge's tarpaulin is as much an act of friendship as part of a day's work. From Teddington Lock to Dartford Creek, there are many crews of three, saving lives, checking property, working in conjunction with other divisions of a police force that serves London well. And anywhere in London, divers of Thames Division are often called to search canals or ponds or gravel pits to recover missing persons, stolen property, weapons and articles used in crime. In this case, they're searching for a gun. Time will tell if it's there. Time will see every inch of mud explored to bring to light a valuable piece of evidence. Today's policeman is a specialist. Police work is the cooperation of specialists. Specialists, men and women who specialize in expertise. Famous throughout the world for its roadcraft method of driving, Hendon is the starting point for drivers of the Metropolitan Force and many others, including those of Commonwealth countries. Instruction is based on every eventuality that is likely to confront a driver during his or her career. Fine instruction, that's needed to bypass the hazards, not just of an obstacle course, but of having to operate effectively on today's congested roads. At Hendon too, men are trained to ride, as well as high-powered machines, the lightweight motorcycles that are adding to the efficiency of the modern police work. For every driver of a police car, the final test of his ability is on the skid pan. Of the two cars here, the one in front is being driven by an instructor. He's the bandit. It's the task of the driver following him round this treacherous, slippery course to stay firmly on his tail. At least that's the idea. The police don't always seem to be the motorist's best friend. They're always the best of motorists themselves. This is Traffic Patrol, a fast estate car sent to the scene of motoring accidents. Its crew are highly trained, capable of examining a wrecked car and finding any faults which may have caused the crash. Specialists once more. But once more, first and foremost, policemen. While one immediately helps the injured driver, it's the other's first job to ensure that passing traffic is warned to steer clear. In the estate car is a compact assortment of modern equipment for this and every other purpose of the traffic patrol. This is the almost automatic activity that precedes, for the traffic patrol, the big question. What caused the accident? Both men are thinking this, for it could be they'll have to answer that question in court. 
For other policemen, searching Epping Forest, there's another big question. Where can a little boy have wandered? The search for a little boy. As big, as important a job as the hunt for a dangerous criminal. And that's what amounts to being a policeman. Epping Forest is one of London's open spaces now regularly patrolled by mounted policemen and one of them now will renew the hope of a waiting mother. Will she forget such help? For this is an aspect of police work that people only see when they're in trouble. What other career involves so many jobs and calls the men who do them by one name? Dog trainers, horsemen, sailors, drivers, lifesavers, the list is as endless as our need for them. But still, the present need is to fit a cap on the child of the woman he belongs to. A frightened woman to whom ticking time is giving more fear. This could be a murder hunt. They could be scouring the wood for an escaped convict or a lunatic at large. It's the same attentive organization in operation when their only quarry is a little boy who got lost. 